Hey, greetings. Hi, George. Can you hear me? Well, either you don't hear me or you're muted or maybe you're AFK. Uh, so George just texted that uh, there's a technical issues. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, sorry, I could hear you, but my Zoom was freaking out. <laughs> Works yeah. now. All right, cool. So we got the technical issues out of hand. Uh, now we can uh, we can get started. Uh, Bogdan is not joining today, so unless anyone else joins, it will be two of us. Uh, let me share my screen. So last week uh, was cancelled. Um, but this week we are back online. So welcome to um, April 27, 2023, Aries BCX Community Call. And this is our antitrust hyperledger, hyperledger antitrust policy notice. All right, so let's jump into our agenda. Um, I'll just repeat once again for anyone who might be listening that uh, you can feel free to join these calls uh, anytime. It's always 9 a.m. ETC. Um, you can just hop in here and discuss whatever, whatever is on your mind, or you can also feel free to uh, come here on the Hyperledger Wiki and tweak the agenda. And that put some put some additional point into the uh, program. So uh, let's start with the first point here. Um, so good first issues. Uh, those has been uh, paused a little bit. Uh, this got like uh, really amazing traction. Uh, lots of people been interested. Lots of people have contributed a PR, and basically all of our good first issues has been taken and addressed at this point. Every single one of them. Uh, so there's been people asking uh, what could they pick up. Um, there's people eager to to contribute. Uh, unfortunately, there, there's a there's overhead just creating and kind of managing these issues. And at this moment, we simply like ran out of them. So uh, people would like to like uh, kind of get started with the repo and have, have a first contribution. Uh, these folks might just have to wait a bit more until we come up with something more. Um, right now we have a whole bunch of PRs here waiting. Uh, and just by the way, um, there's often false positives here. I think uh, it's a, something we'll have to address on CI. For example, this PR right here it appears red, but it's really just CI issue. But anyway, I uh, will definitely be making uh, like more of this in the future. So stay tuned. Uh, next up, uh, we have uh, the, somebody's somebody's texting. No. Oh yeah, someone was asking for Zoom. I think. So uh, link. So well, maybe we'll have a new visitor here. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I should include the link when I'm posting the messages on Discord. I just post the link, so it'll be easier for people. To find it, they don't have to browse through 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 wiki. 
Yeah, uh, there's like uh, pinned messages as well. I wonder if you could pin. Ah, yeah. Maybe there. I should take a look at that. Um, all right, let's move to the next point. So the mentorship program. Uh, so we are current. There's no significant update. We are according to the program dates calendar. We are still uh, in this period of menti application uh, uh, on LFX mentorship. Uh, and there's a link over there. You can find more information about how to apply. Um, and yeah, that will continue all the way until 10th of May. So I think that's like uh, one or two more weeks. Um, well, next up, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the kind of intro. Anything from your side, George, before we dive uh -huh. in? That's all for me. No, nothing. Oh, and and we have uh, Bawi uh, joining our call. Welcome. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, would you like to? Since you, you know, usually when when we have a new visitor, we like uh, we give option to introduce uh, kind of briefly uh, the people. So, would you like to uh, say a few brief words yeah. about yourself? Yep. 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 Uh, hi, hello, everyone. Uh, actually, I'm uh, an undergraduate uh, from India, and I'm, I'm absolutely new to the hyperledger technology. And I've chosen Aries uh, for the like uh, LFX mentorship program for like uh, to pursue with. And uh, yes, uh, I'm also a learner of Rust right now. But previously, I've, I'm an open source contributor, and uh, I've been contributing in open source projects of application development uh, before. But this time, uh, like it's it's the first time of mine in hyperledger technology. Hmm. So, thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, welcome. Happy to have yeah, you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, have you have you already submitted the uh, mentorship application? Yeah, I've submitted the mentorship application, but my resume and CV is still pending, and I'm working on that uh, to like uh, give the best of give the best of, best out of it. Right. Right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, thank you, and let's uh, let's go further in in our agenda. So, uh, as for like the overview of uh, the work done, uh, we have most significantly just uh, pushed out the release zero fifty five, which significantly uh, contains uh, a migration to the new messages crate. Uh, this has been tested pretty thoroughly, and actually it. Um, it, it got squashed in a few more uh, upgrades uh, other than uh, just uh, the message, the new messages create integration. Uh, there was a changes to testing. We got rid of uh, all of our, um, well, not all, many, pretty much all of our testing feature flags. Uh, unfortunately, on the way, we also uh, lost some unit tests. Uh, but this will be addressed as we go. And uh, anyway, we are we are now in kind of transitioner period where we are migrating lots of code from old implementation of um, state machines to the new kind of type state pattern as we as we uh, as we used to call it. Um, so that was switch PR uh, just to point it. Uh, oh. Uh, it's among the close ones. Yeah, so we had a 055 release just four hours ago, and then there was this uh, uh, refactor slash replacing messages. It was a huge effort uh, by Bogdan. Um, yeah, uh, this was also uh, tested um, outside of the repo, as I mentioned here, um, on some internal projects across... Uh, 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 also cross-tested with older versions of VCX and uh, AFJ uh, on the on the client side. So kudos to Bogdan for pulling this off. It was really uh, a long long-term effort, and I think uh, on a way we also, or maybe, maybe especially Bogdan learned on about all of the other stuff which has a potential to be improved. And I think uh, I think uh, bright, 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 day, bright days are ahead. 
uh, lots of lots of lo lot more improvements coming. Uh, next up for the stuff in progress uh, and also um, kind of oh well we come uh, we talk about priorities priorities in the next point so I just stick to agenda. So what's in progress? Um, well, there's two most kind of uh, second um, second in in the order significant PRs. Uh, one is the DID resolver. Uh, so this this is effort from uh, Mera, Mirgi, um, and basically, oh, it's really nicely uh, described here. It's still in a draft state and needs to be reviewed. And we have some comment here too. Um, so this contains actually a whole bunch of crates, as is described. Um, there's a DID parser for simply parsing strings into some sort of uh, uh, DID typed DID Rust structure. Uh, there's a DDoc builder for constructing uh, W3C compliant uh, DDoc's. Uh, there's DID resolver, uh, which is kind of a general. Wait, let me let me let me get right. Uh, there's DID resolver, which is kind of a general um, trait for implementing DID resolver. So whenever you want to uh, add a support for a new DID. Basically, it would go ahead and implement uh, these two traits mentioned here, did resolvable and did uh, dereferenceable. De uh, and for right now, we have one uh, DID resolver implementation, which is did solve method, uh, but it can be expected we'll be adding a did indi method uh, which will be a kind of, as as per my understanding, it's going to be new DID method on in the ledger itself. So essentially two alternative ways to write and resolve the, uh, the, the, the DID documents. Uh, and lastly, uh, there is a did resolve a registry, which is uh, uh, a crate which kind of, well, as, as, as the name suggests, it's a registry of resolvers. So uh, in practice, in let's say in terms of Aries VCX integration, probably we're gonna have one DID resolver registry where we um, inject um, a different resolvers which you want to support in the runtime. So you might choose that when you want to use Aries VCX, um, you want to your application should support. Um, did solve resolution and let's say Bitcoin DID resolution. Then you compile, then you can choose to compile simply those resolvers and with their respective dependencies, which you are interested in, and then get them registered into this registry in runtime. And then this will be kind of the, uh, the, the interface which Aries VCX itself would interact with. And underneath this registry would call the individual resolver implementation implementations through the did resolver interface and uh all of the all, all of this resolving code is pretty much harnessing these two other crates for the dog building and uh, the id parsing any any comments uh any comments on, on this one? Looks good. Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, Mira did a good job, but it, I mean, it looks really nice. Uh, just, uh, just yet need to dive in and uh, take a take a take a deeper look at it. And um, yeah, I I, I, I encourage uh, everyone to do the same and. Uh, Leave leave a feedback here. Uh, all right. Uh, the second, uh, I mean, pretty much equal. I think priority is the the state pattern, and in particular, we already have a credential holder state pattern cooking. Uh, so we have this PR with um, extensive discussion around it. Now, where is it? I lost it. Yeah, uh, so it's in a draft state. We had a bunch of discussions here. 
uh it was a bit of my radar for a while so i don't know if there's been any any updates uh, i don't see any new new comments so yeah um oh sorry yeah a, a bit of an update um so after uh the meeting two weeks ago um i worked on it in a new branch uh for about a week um mm. and i haven't merged that new branch back into this one yet or, or reopened the pr um but yeah i just decided to do it on a new branch because a lot of the message stuff going on um mm -hmm. i'd opened that original pr before the message two stuff um so yeah there's a bit of um refactor that needs to happen uh all that needed to happen and now needs to happen again <laughs> with now that it's merged in and integrated um mm -hmm. so i'll probably do that this week um and in terms of the apis for that holder um structure um i'm not sure if we reached like a happy conclusion uh in the comments section of that original pr but i think um the approach that i have at the moment uh is is pretty good um and it won't take much to adjust it if we decide to change some things mm -hmm. um but yeah i really just need to rebase and work on it this week and hopefully have something um by next week sounds sweet awesome awesome uh yeah and and then i think uh like uh, it would be nice basically once we have this or uh, credential holder and uh, if you manage to also do like in the same fashion credential issuer then it would be really nice to st i already put it here i kind of i'm kind of jumping now but but uh, uh what the hell uh it's it's relevant i was just thinking that we can start kind of approaching the testing in a new kind of new new generation testing where we can start writing the kind of integration tests with like uh, revocations and i mean we have a whole bunch of these kind of issuance and revocation scenarios and we could start approaches in a like completely new fashion start kind of new testing infrastructure and uh most of all do it connectionlessly so there is no need mm. to deal with connections when testing credential issuance slash holder protocol like we can just assume that the messages are being delivered some way and since we are no longer embedding the io into the state machines anymore and we have all the message sending kind of is responsibility of the state pattern consumer then it'll be really easy to write this kind of connectionless tests i believe yeah for sure agreed Mm. all right now let's let's uh follow our points in the order sorry for detour here to the next point uh so we have uh i would like to just uh mention um the other prs honor i always like to honorably mention the new contributors on the call and it makes me really happy when there's new people coming in and and they put their time and effort uh to to have a contribution and um and learn uh, learn about our 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 code base uh it's it's amazing so uh first of all uh this uh, encoding attributes uh this's been uh this's been going on for a while i really appreciate stevan's uh, persistence through this because we picked pinged it back and forth multiple times and last time he got uh there was some further feedback from bogdan and uh, Stephen replied that he's off for a while but he will be able to continue uh in the first week of may so let's let's wait for him i mean this is not urgent so even if it's later than that i think we can wait and it's it's no biggie it doesn't really conflict with anything else we are doing and it's uh it's definitely improvement already now but uh uh but there's space for 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 further uh improvements for, for Bogdan's comments uh so happy about this one excited to uh see it see it driven to completion and next up we had uh first time contributor contributors swap churn 
uh, which uh, took the, P uh, the issue to update time dependency to the latest version C0320, uh, which is, was not uh, completely trivial. Uh, it actually included some uh, uh, sync up in the code as the, the crate has done some breaking changes from the version where we are right now to the, the latest version. So uh, there's all these adjustments to make it compile. So thanks Swapter for, for this one. Um, this is passing, as I mentioned, we are getting these false positives, failures on the CI where uh, when the PR is being made from a fork repository, uh, this publishing job fails because of permissions. So we just need to adjust CI, so adjust the CI, so this job wouldn't even run if the CI is running from the forked repository. So we'll get this tweaked and uh, it will be uh, more rewarding for the new contributors when they actually can see straight away that uh, their, their, their PR is green. So we can actually merge this uh, pretty soon. This looks good. Um, next up, we had... Uh, some deserialization tests. I think this is a similar story, I believe. It's again uh, failing on a published Docker, but uh, it's uh, it uh, implements what it should. There's like two two tests for serialization, deserialization. Um, it's it's useful even in terms of like uh, kind of documentation. Like you look at the tests, this kind, you look at this kind of test, and you see immediately like. How does the serialized version currently actually looks like and and um, plus the testing so this is nice thanks to uh Na nachi cat kanore and let's move on to the uh, next one and uh, that was a uh, similar pr with similar kind of tests again serialization and deserialization um of of some of some uh, structure we have uh, the structure is mainly harness and v6. Nevertheless, again, it's useful just for the kind of uh, uh, documentation element of it. So, thanks to Tech Bash, first time yep. contributor. I am this one, so. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see that's you. Okay. Good. Uh, good to we have a di different nickname, so it's good to be able to match. Uh, yeah. the names through this core and the GitHub. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, next, there was a post message PR from Andy Wayne. This has been also kind of uh, going on for a while. Andy will have a bit of a work here to sync up after the merge. There is a whole bunch of conflicts here, but I don't think it should be too painful to do. Uh, it will be a little pain, but I think it's doable. Uh, so I, I just uh, put a ping message uh, to Andy if he's gonna continue working on this. Uh, so let's see. Um, Andy is also our first time contributor. Um, there was one more uh, first time contributor. Um, I have some cleanup in constants.rs file. Uh, there was a whole bunch of constants which were not being used. Uh, and also it was uh, not really formatted. So now that it's easier to, when you are checking tests, you need to check what is some test matching against. It's just simply much, much easier now to take a look at uh, this kind of nice JSON than uh, just the JSON on one line. So plus one for readability, uh, thanks to Prasang023. Uh, again, our first time contributor. Uh, and that brings us to the end. There was one more PR from me, uh, which uh, is removing some dependencies which are not necessary. Uh, it's been paused before, uh, but uh, I'm trying to get it working again. It looks like I'm running into some failures, so I'll have to sort this out. Uh, this is removing... Uh, ENV, in ENV logger crate and Android logger from Aries VCX. So these kind of things just simply don't belong there. Aries VCX should not dictate what kind of logger implementation is used. And it should be a responsibility of the crates above it. So if you are consuming Aries VCX in your own crate, beware that uh, you need to 
plugin, the ENV logger yourself if you want to use it. Uh, we do it, we had to do similar change here for the node wrapper where we previously didn't have ENV logger as we relied to the for on the one in the Aries VCX. Now we had to plug it in and make sure that it gets initialized and set up all the login format. Uh, this has been pretty much copy pasted from the Aries VCX. So if you want to maintain the same capabilities, same format, same everything, you can again just kind of take it out from here. Uh, and um, you know, move it to our project. Um, but this is uh, this is nice cleanup for Aries VCX. Also, uh, there's no reason why Aries VCX should be uh, like aware of anything related to Android. So this uh, definitely had to go. Right. Um, there's no comments, and we can move on. Uh, so, just uh, upcoming work. I think uh, there's not really any new items coming right now. More of uh, just setting up priorities. We already know what we're gonna focus on. So that would be getting the DID resolver, all the DID and DDoG related stuff reviewed, and uh, get it integrated. Right now, it's simply contribution of those uh, crates, those components into repo, but so far there's no integration. So there will be probably separate PR after, pardon, after we get this one uh, merged in. Um, and second priority, I mean, equal priority is the type step pattern and uh, the, the, the new approach to testing, which kind of comes, comes along with it. Uh, so I think it's it's pretty clear. Uh, George, I would like to just ask if when you will have a moment, uh, have a look at the DID parsing. I'm sure that Mira will appreciate any any feedbacks on it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but also anyone else, um, Bobby, if you if you uh, you know uh, feel uh, feel like you want to give you want to give it a shot, you know, I mean it can be pretty challenging, but. Um, my point is that uh, everyone is welcome to leave review, uh, leave code reviews on these PRs, even though if you even if you are not a maintainer directly or something like that. Yeah, for sure. But uh, first, I'll have to like uh, learn about the IDs only, because actually, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, earlier, yeah, it can be you know it can be your kind of a, a learning experience. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not something you have to do, but it just just you know uh throwing it out here like uh it's option for anyone in, including you and it yeah. can be probably you know whoever is like a new contributor uh i mean this will be extremely challenging and especially if people are also new to rust this is going to be extremely challenging to review because it's like a, a new domain uh, and it's uh, also possible like uh, like fairly new language for people uh, but uh, it might be just simply opportunity for you to learn something. You know, you can drop in, people can drop in questions. Uh, why yeah. is this the way it is and stuff like that. There's a, and, and Miro did a really good, good job documenting it. So he linked all the specifications here and uh, you might be able to kind of better understand like what links to which standard, what is, what is specified where, where it's implemented, stuff like that. Oh, okay. For sure. Um, okay, and that's our priorities and upcoming work. Uh, on the previous meeting, we were discussing the crate naming. Uh, I think we came to some conclusion, but still kind of open. I think at that meeting, uh, Bogdan wasn't here, and I would like to also hear uh, like uh, opinion from from Mira. Uh, maybe we can just just discuss this uh, on a, on some chat. Um, and here's just a question mark. If there's any new good first issue candidates, I think there might be. I mean, I have some ideas. I'm not sure if it's right time to create a new good first issue and 
there's still so many uh, like uh, first-time contributors PR spending. If we create more good for this issue, I'm sure people will implement it, but then uh, they're gonna wait for a long time to get it merged, possibly. So let's uh, let's get this little bit paused for a while, and then we can maybe next week or so. After things yeah. uh, get resolved a bit, we can we can do something new. On a, on the good first issues, um, it, I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it's a good first issue. Um, maybe you can let me know. But um, all the interfaces for all the traits for you know base wallet, base and non creds, and base ledger. Um, they all take in JSONs at the moment, JSON strings mm. and and return JSONs. Um, and it's sort of a bit of a thing that smells to me and yeah, <laughs> could be yeah, improved sure. if they were all typed. <laughs> yeah, it, um, and the reason actually is, uh, I'm, I think it's a kind of, I mean, uh, you implement all those interfaces and the way you had to implement them in a string way was because long time ago i mean no, it was not so long time ago, half a year ago we still were using ffi to talk to libindi and everything yeah. was string so that's kind of yeah exactly this is i think this is great for good for this issue so i i think you should go ahead and uh, try to you know formalize it into issue or maybe split it out into multiple if you yep. think there's a way okay i'll do that sounds mm. good that'll be great yeah if the issue sounds interesting to me, yeah. If you would like, uh, like to assign it to me if you want, whenever like you uh, update the issue. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll I'll let you know when I make the ticket. Maybe, you. maybe you can, uh, George, directly tag uh, Bobby. I mean, uh, you, Bobby, you're using the uh, hey. tag bash a nickname yep. on GitHub, right? Yeah. So maybe you can just take him so other people wouldn't take it since uh, Davi uh, <laughs> expressed his interest, you know, because there's like a fight for this, good for the issues. Everyone's to, yeah. <laughs> everyone wants to do them. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Sounds good. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anything else, guys? Um, I was wondering uh, as well, will you or Bogdan be working on type state patterns in the coming future um yourself or yeah i think uh like uh i would like to do the uh, you are implementing holder i would do i would probably start working on an issuer or maybe okay, both will, i don't know probably one of us uh would start that piece and then we can finally start improving those tests i'm really excited for that and, so I'm excited to see all the tests to pass in like, uh, I don't know, at least 10 times faster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause I was, I was going to say, um, I'm doing holder at the moment and I take your point about doing issuer next would be good for the sake of making some nice tests. Um, yeah. but I think my priority after the holder will probably be to do the prover type state. Mm -hmm. If that lines up with things well. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. And then probably we can do uh, very far on the other side. Okay, great. Cool. It's, it's kind of a perfect uh, synergy because you guys are more interested in the like prover and holder side, and we are more interested in the very far and issuer. So it's pretty, yeah, pretty nice. Awesome. Cool. S symbiotic relationship. All right. <laughs> uh, If uh, there's nothing else, then uh, I think we can conclude this meeting as complete. Ooh. So yeah, thank you guys. Um, thank you for joining uh, both of you. Uh, the meeting will be again next week, 9 a.m. UTC. Uh, same thing, same, same time as always. Uh, have, a, have a nice, rest of the week more friday and then enjoy the weekend thank you guys yeah, you cool. yeah, thanks, thanks everyone hey patrick maybe look into um pinning the zoom link in the chat if you can that'd be good oh for yeah thing. i will do that that's a good idea cool okay thank you thank you guys see you bye